Well, I don't favour banning unpopular views. I think the best way to deal with arguments you disagree with is to bring them out and argue with them. And uh, therefore, uh, although I'm totally opposed to the BNP, I think the best way of dealing with them is to hear their view and then uh, people would have an opportunity to put a, a, a different view in the hope of persuading people that uh, the BNP view is not the best one. So my view would be that it's, uh, if the BBC invites someone who's been elected, after all, it isn't as if he's unrepresentative, he represents the people who've elected him, and I think it's quite reasonable that uh, such a person should be on a programme. I mean, I don't want to um, go too much about your age, but I mean, you are of an age where you would remember uh, back to the days when fascist movements uh, in this country, in wartime Britain, were... Um, a significant uh, voice, if not an elected voice, um, and Britain managed to deal with that then and counter that. And you feel that we're broad children enough to do that again now? Yes, we never had an elected uh, fascist member of parliament. We had very right wing MPs whose views might have been similar in some respects, but nobody in Britain ever elected a fascist member of parliament as such. Uh, except possibly Oswald Mosley himself, who had been, of course, a Labour MP and became a fascist. I met him in 1928 when I was three years old, and uh, and uh, he he was a, a supporter of Adolf Hitler. Are there similarities with Nick Griffin and his group now? Do you feel? Well, I I I, I just. I mean, my view is that the fascist opinion is utterly wrong and destructive and the, you you don't deal with it by banning it if you ban it you make it more attractive and uh, and so on if you try to ban it so i'm just in favor of of, of treating it as a, a point of view that's got to be dealt with in argument but as some of our you know other contributors have said in the last uh, half hour it has turned into a circus does that help really it has what it has been turned into a circus by this build-up to question time, the crowds outside, the demonstrations, and so on. Does that help the argument in a way, or does it rather cloud it, the, the being a circus, as somebody has called it to me uh, in a previous interview? Uh, well, uh, where there's strong opposition, people will express it the way they think best. But uh, my opinion is that uh, you cannot ban an opinion just because you disagree with it. It's very straightforward. Where do you think it goes from here, though? Presumably now um, uh, Nick Griffin and the BNP have made this move, if you like, uh, they, to a bigger and taller platform with greater public awareness. Presumably uh, a lot of doors open to them. Well, I can't anticipate what will happen. But I don't think arguments put forward by such people will ever win majority support. Well, Tony Ben, thank you very much for joining us tonight. And uh, just uh, bring in Lord Oosley now, who's former commissioner for racial equality in this country. Lord